Welcome to ClockClass.com. Today we are going to be discussing the ratchet assembly. As you can see right here, this is what I'm talking about. This is a ratchet wheel with these saw teeth. We have the click and a click spring. I have a CAD drawing here showing the click and the ratchet wheel. And the ideal shape of the click as it engages the ratchet teeth. <coughs> Excuse me. Notice that the stop face is on a radius to the ratchet wheel. That gives it the most catching force available so that as this rotates, it's not likely to slip out. You can see that there's no space on this face. Let me zoom in just a little. You can see that there's no space there and no space or relatively little space back in here. It fits the tooth shape very well. That's what we like to see. Now as these wear, they can wear in some dangerous configurations. Notice now our stop face has changed. The angle is no longer perpendicular to the line of force. It's not on a radius. It has been worn down. This is dangerous because this could kick this click, this click up out of the way, which would mean that the mainspring or the weight would explosively unwind. So we need to pay attention to the shape of the click. Here's another one, and this one doesn't look quite as dangerous. You can see this would certainly stop the ratchet. However, the stop face doesn't have much meat to it. There's, there's not a lot of surface area here. Yes, this would work, but it would be a weak arrangement. What would happen over time is this tip would get worn and rounded off, and then we would be back into this situation where the click could get kicked out of the way. So we want to keep it in the ideal configuration. If we find one that doesn't meet this ideal, then we'll have to do some reshaping. 